juice box. I'm your girl, Miss Liz, and we're about to get the fresh squeeze of the week. I'm gonna make it somehow. But I can't stop now. Gotta keep pushing, gotta keep grinding, gotta keep believing in myself. What's up guys, welcome to Juice Box. I'm behind the scene with my guy, Thrash. We about to see what he talking about. What's up, Thrash? A little bit of everything. We got some music cooking up and we just want to let y'all know what's good with that. So let the people know, where are you from? Shoot, I'm originally from Flint, Michigan, but I grew up in Southern California and uh, you know, I'm a city boy with a little bit of country in me, but LA based and grown. So how did you get started into the music game? Well, I got a background in sports. I played sports and then oh, okay. I also always kind of had a love for music and mm -hmm. I always had the beats playing in my head. So <laughs> that just continued to grow and then I took that on from when I stopped playing ball. I said, I want to do music. So how did you get started? I, I dived in it so tough, believe it or not, I started meeting other people that wanted to do it. Right. So once I committed to it, I had a couple ex-teammates be like, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. And then they, we had friends of friends and the pieces started to come together, you know? Right, because I was listening to your music earlier. What is it, Feather in the Wind? Yeah, Feather in the Wind. I really like that song, and what I really like about it most is you're not talking about bitches, hoes, and shoes, and clothes, and cars, and all that. Tell the people about that song. Yeah, you know, we got a bunch of different kind of records, but that record in particular was just something, it was a heartfelt record, or something that was um, easy to do, because it was a reflection of my past. You know, just from childhood to an adult, and then me reflecting on that and kind of looking at things different and how my parents did the best they could, basically. Okay. You know, so it was one of those type of heartfelt family records, you know. Almost like a Tupac, Dear Mama type of song. Yes, very much so. Actually, I really, really yeah. did like the song. It stuck in my head like Feather in the Wind. It's really good. So, Thank you. where did you get some of your inspiration from? <laughs> All over. I mean, you know, the West Coast hip hop scene, Big Dell, the funky homo sapien, and Hyro fan. And um, I really, back then, I was just a sponge. So I was soaking up a lot of everything. That's it was it was hard not to like something. I took a little bit of something from a lot. So, you know, from your ice cubes and the quicks and the, you know, guys like that. But I was just a sponge. And I'm still inspired to this day. I don't know who I'm gonna be inspired by tomorrow. Okay. That's how I get down. So do you ever get discouraged? There Are there any times when you feel like ever, like you wanna just give up? Not anymore. <laughs> not anymore? I felt that way before, but not uh -huh. anymore. I played another record for you where there's no turning back with me. Yeah, you have to keep you know? going no matter yeah. how hard I'm, times I'm get. I'm committed. I'm committed to my journey for better or for worse. No matter how long it takes. Yeah, but don't trip. I've been discouraged. <laughs> no, I'm just saying because I've been, a lot of people I've get discouraged. People get discouraged. They have their moments, but they actually get back into themselves yeah. and, you know. You're